If you've ever tried to determine who entered a transaction into your Sage 50, or maybe if something was deleted or changed, then the audit trail report is the source of the information you've been looking for. Let me close this and show you how to get to the report. If you go to the Reports and Forms menu, and then down to Company Information, and you'll see the audit trail report. We'll double click on that, and it comes up to, um, to today's date by default. Since we're in the sample company, it thinks that uh, March 15th is the date. And you notice that even though most of the transactions in here in the sample company are dated March 15th, they're not showing up on this report. And that's because the report is looking at when something occurred, not what the transaction date, for, or such as the invoice date is on it. So we'll go into the options. And we'll just stretch out our date range. And now we'll see some activity. And... Um, since this is a sample company, when I started, of course, it didn't have any users. So username here on the first few items says not available, um, and it shows a login. And then we added a couple of users. There we've got a user login, logged in as admin, and added a customer named TestCust, added a sales order for Aldred, 103.55 for $137, added another sales order for TestCust, 103.56. And then we see that admin logged off. We've got a user login from, from Steve. And Steve changed the sales order, 103.55, and changed something on the, uh, on the test customer record. It doesn't tell us what, but we know that something was changed. And then we can see we added an invoice, deleted an invoice, and a quote. And for uh, anything that's relevant, you can drill down. So, for example, on here where we added a transaction, if I double-click on that, it'll pop up that invoice for me. Of course, here where we deleted, we can't drill down because there's nothing to drill down to. Um, now, these are all the columns that are available for the report, but we do have some options we can look at. First of all, we can change our sorting method uh, between date and time or username. So now it's sorted by username instead of instead of by date and time. Go back to the options. Switch that back. And so you can also sort by or filter by action. So if you just want to look and see uh, uh, things that were deleted, you can choose that and click OK. And now we only have our deletes on there. We'll go back to options. Clear that filter. And if you're trying to investigate a specific transaction, you can put in a reference. And now it's filtered to only show things for order 103.55. We'll clear that. And you can also look by username. So if you only want to see what one particular user did or a range of usernames, then you can do that. Now, if you're wanting to sort or filter in some way that isn't offered in here, we'll clear that. And you do have the option of sending it to Excel. So if we click the Excel button, and I've turned on uh, the option to enable uh, column filtering in Excel. So I'll click OK. And it will pop that up. And there's the report. And so here you could, of course, sort any way you want. And um, you could come here to the transaction ID column and filter that out for a specific customer if you wanted. So in a nutshell, that is the audit trail report in Sage 50.